So the next thing we're going to talk about, and all of this is, uh, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? This is Lene with the Lene Gray Show on KUAW. But you're on my personal page right now. We're discussing LDR, long distance relationships. And I think maybe this stuff can apply to local if someone's just like in another state or, you know, uh, 30 to 50 miles away from y'all can't see each other. Maybe this stuff can apply. I don't know. But I'm just teaching you all about long distance relationships. Um, so now that we've covered how often we video chat and, you know, how often we talk, we treat it like it's a, you know, in the beginning, he was the, oh, I'm going to call you, you know, and he would call me and I didn't answer. Or one time, I mean, like he got so nervous, he dropped his phone in a can of paint and ruined his phone because he messaged me and I hadn't heard from him in a while. And I was like, oh, I'm good. Lose my number, babe. But, you know, I'm not one of them chicks. Look. Look, if I can't tell you anything else, I'm too pretty for the games. So I will, people tell me that's a trauma response to all the negative relationships I have. Call it a trauma response. I just call it I'm no nonsense to where I refuse to be placed on the back burner. If you don't have time for me, you were existing without me before you met me. So go back to that. You know, that's just that. And that is my rule. I'm, I'm, uh what do you call zero tolerance on having to wait on you? I don't wait on nobody, you know, days and days don't, don't wait on us. Hours and seconds and minutes don't wait on us. The sun don't wait on us to shine and the moon don't wait on us. They're both actively always there at any point in time. So that's just how I am. Hopefully, you know, men and women, you all will decide to Stop allowing people to put you in that wait a minute category. Wait on me. Hold on. Give me time. This is nah. That if, if you need time to get to know me or you need time to know what you don't want, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. And I understand that. But um, now that we've understood that and he was like, you know, I tell people I treat and he treats it as if we're together. You know, you have to. So now that you treat it as if the both of you are together because you're long, just because you're long distance doesn't mean anything. Now you can begin to have a real relationship and talk about real things and have real conversations and ask real questions and just truly get to know another thing. Don't be giving out your address. Don't give out your address and don't give out your telephone number. He wanted to send me something for Valentine's Day and he kept asking for my address. And we had known each other since August of 2020. And I didn't get a Valentine's Day gift because I wouldn't give him my address. I didn't feel like I knew him that well. Now my birthday was in November and he sent me flowers in the summer. So yeah, by that time I felt like I knew him well enough. But we had almost been talking almost for a year. It was, he sent me flowers in June. And we met in August of 2020. So, you know, by that time, yeah, I'll give you my address. But y'all be real picky about handing out your address and your telephone number. I'll be back.